guys, welcome back. Welcome to our channel. I am Princess Lana, and this is Shalinda. And welcome to Nursing That Budget. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our channel. All right, guys. So today we are going to be doing April's budget. So I have already laid out all the stickers to show you guys what type of bills that I have for the month. So let's just go over it. So on the first, I have my car insurance. I have Google Play, seventh. The second, I have um, my light bill, gas. And then on the fifth, we have a Victoria's Secret credit card and my ADT. You do? Yes, I do. <laughs> and then on the 12th, I'm going to pay the mortgage, which is 13 20 42 And then I have a cell phone bill, which is 45 which is my mom's cell phone bill. And then on the 13th, which I think they'll probably take it out on the 12th, but I put on 13th because I don't have any room. So we're going to do 9507. I have a Kirby vacuum cleaner, guys. If somebody asks you to buy one, don't do it. Anyway, that's 65 63 a month. And then I have a Lana cell phone bill on the 18th, which is 3601. My life insurance. And then my cell phone bill on the 19th. And then on the 22nd, I have a Chase credit card, and the minimum balance is $197. So what I do is how I break down schedule. So what I do is I break down my paychecks by, I, I break down my budget by paychecks. So like on my first paycheck, you know, I'll pay the bills like I get paid on March 29th. So March 29th, where's, well, where's my? Where is March 29th? It's going to be here. Because March when I get paid 29th. on March 29th, then that has, to, right, that has to cover all these bills. Because, well, these bills here, because I don't get paid again until the 12th. So I have to make sure that all these bills are covered because I don't get paid again until the 12th. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we're going to pay car insurance, Google Play, Georgia Power, Scanner, Victoria's Secret, ADT, Verizon, Prime America, and Chase. I'm going to pay these larger bills at the um, beginning of the month because when I get paid on the 12th, it's probably not going to be enough to cover all the rest of this. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to take the money from here because I'll have some leftover to pay for the larger bills towards the end of the month also. So what I do is I usually budget my income on a $3,200 a month income for the simple fact that anything left, I usually, I'm usually going to make a little bit more than that, but I only budget $3,200 because I want to always try to remember to live below my means. So anything over $3,200 is going to automatically go to savings. So for check one, we're going to budget $1,600. I do have some extra income, like I work a part-time job, and that's like what I will get monthly from there. Then I have some miscellaneous income of $350, but I usually, I try not to budget. I try not to budget with this income. But as you'll see over here, I am going to have to budget with this with this income just a little bit because of this Victoria's Secret bill that I have here. I have a question. Okay. Why does it say snowball right here? It says snowball right there because I'm going to pay. Okay, so Alana wants to know why it says snowball at the end here. So it says snowball because I am going... I, I'm trying to follow the Dave Ramsey um, style of budgeting where you snowball all of your debts. And I have like three debts that I'm trying to pay off. So whatever is left from this nut, from my income before I get to this nut, after I pay everything, this is what's left. So I'm going to add that to what my minimum balance is that I would pay on that bill anyway, which is going to be my Kirby vacuum cleaner. Okay. So I'm going to add that number to the 65 or whatever I owe, the 65, 63 that I owe for that. So that's why that's snowball. 
It has my name. So it does have your name. So then what I do after I pay all of this, this is the remaining balance from this 1600. I am going to take my cash envelopes from this number. So like I do groceries, 240, gas, 120, personal, which is like my personal money. And then Alana has um, 180 because Alana gets her hair done every two weeks and it's like 60 bucks. And then I give her an allowance of $20 a month. So that's why she gets 180. I know she gets more than me and I'm the one that's working, right? <laughs> Go figure. So after all that is done, I am, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take this, all this equals 620. So I'm not going to take this full amount out at the same time. I'm going to split it up. So on the 29th, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 310. Well, actually, I'm going to take 400 because I'm going to actually take the whole 240 for the grocery. So it's going to end up being 400 for the first, for the first, um, for the first two weeks. And then that just leaves a 78.69, which is going to go towards my curb of snowball. Hmm. So then when I get paid on April 2nd, I mean, I'm sorry, April 12th, I'm going to budget 1600 it may be more so i'm going to pay my mortgage my kirby vacuum cleaner alana cell phone my mama's cell phone and then scanner which is my gas bill hmm. and then this is what i have remaining so what i'll do with that i may either put that towards my snowball also or i may just throw it into savings but what i'm going to do is from this seven from this seven eighty eight from this 788 over here by, um, for my part-time job, I am going to take the rest of the cash envelopes from that income, which will leave 478, and that'll just go straight into savings. Mm -hmm. So my budgeted income is going to be 4338, which also adds in my part-time and my miscellaneous, and then I'll come back and I'll put the actual. So I hope this makes sense. If anybody has any questions, feel free to leave us a comment. And that is it for Nursing That Budget. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Push that like button. Bye.